Good morning, Mariloma. Today's date is Friday, November 30th. I'm Johanna Kachian, and this is video bulletin number seven. The Black Light Rally is on December 7th, and Spirit Week is also coming around the corner. Here are the themes for Spirit Week. Along with the rally, student government will be hosting a black light dance on the same day as the rally. So stay tuned for a preview. Uh, Posner, where's the party? Well, this isn't a party yet. Le Glow! Tickets for the dance are now on sale in the business office for $8 with ASB card and $10 without. Tickets will also be $10 at the door during the dance. See you there! Hmm, I'm kind of thirsty. Oh! By the way, Mariloma, student government is selling these tumblers for $5 in C6. Hurry and come get them while supplies last. Good morning, Mariloma. This is teacher interview number four, and we're here with the brand new, wonderful earth science teacher, Mr. Buckmiller. So, this is your first year at Mariloma? It's my first year at Mariloma, yeah. How are you liking it so far? I'm liking it a lot. Very nice school. That's good. Did you teach somewhere before you came to Mariloma? Yes, yeah, so I've been in the district for a while. I came over here from Encina High School. And so this is a little different from Encina. So you're the soccer coach, correct? Yes, yeah, so I'm in charge of the soccer program. How is year. it here at Mariloma? Uh, we had a lot of fun. The boys program was pretty successful this year, I think. Uh, and the girls would get started in the spring. Uh, a new challenge, but uh, great kids, good athletes. Have you ever coached for soccer anywhere else? Yes, I have. I spent seven years coaching the program at Encina and seven years before that at Rio Americano. So Ooh, Rio. I've been doing this for a while. Yeah, I've been doing this for a while. Since you're new, do you want to just tell us like a brief synopsis of your life? Like, What do you enjoy doing besides soccer and earth science? Well, soccer and earth science takes up a lot of time for me. I like to spend uh, my time at home cooking and painting, and uh, I live near the river, so I spend a lot of time uh, along the river, taking, doing photography, vacationing, and then watching my kids play sports. They're both athletes, and we spend a lot of time doing that as well. Are your kids still in high school? I have a son who's a freshman in high school and a daughter who's a freshman in college. Well, that's Ooh. good. They're grown up. They're grown up. Yeah. Don't yes. have to change diapers or anything. Nothing anymore. like that anymore. No, nope. don't ever want okay. to do that anymore. Just got to pay them money for the college. <laughs> yeah, they do cost money. So can you tell us what these things are? They are dead animals and that have been preserved. Do you use these for your classes? Well, not in earth science, no. And this is a dead dog? Uh, yeah, it's not a live dog. What do you have there, Angela? I am not quite sure. You have a tadpole. That's, that's a tadpole in a jar. That never got to be a frog. And I got a pet. Yeah. <laughs> so teaching has to get like a bit redundant sometimes. So what do you do in the classroom to like shake things up a little bit and keep it keep it fresh? Oh, I like to uh, draw some cartoons sometimes just for fun. I think the kids kind of like it. Can cool. can we see some? Sure. All right, let's go. So thank you, Mr. Buckmiller, for this wonderful teacher interview. And that's it for today. Have a great day, Mary Loma.